Today's rant is on the Discovery Family Channel, unfortunately formerly known as the late great The Hub, aka also The Hub Network, or whatever you want to call it. So basically, it became The Hub's last day on television back on October 13, 2014, just three days after the fourth anniversary, the day The Hub first premiered back on October 10, 2010. It sucks that The Hub was only around for four years. It's not right. The Hub was known for making family fun. Well, now there is no more making family fun. Not to mention, no more birthday parties for The Hub. Look at these sad pictures of rest in peace tombstones for The Hub. All the characters saying their last goodbyes. It is just too much to handle. The Hub was a family-friendly channel. Now with the channel known as The Discovery Family, it is still marketed as a family-friendly channel, but now it also has family-oriented science and nature flipping theme programs. The network slogan is, let's go. Not bad, I'm, I'm fine with it. And now the channel is owned by Discovery Communications. On September 25, 2014, the Hub Network president, Margaret Lash, stepped down by the end of 2014. No! I wonder what made her leave. Discovery acquired 10% of Hasbro's stake in the network and replaced her with Henry Schreef. Shri Shri I can't really pronounce this man's last name. Uh, he leads... Discovery Communications, and other digital networks. The Wall Street Journal reported that Discovery Communications was preparing to acquire a controlling stake in the Hub Network from Hasbro. That's why the Hub became Discovery Family. Now the new president, who was a part of the Discovery Communications, decided to just bring in some science and nature shows. That's why it's called Discovery Family. I mean, after all, it was called Discovery Kids back in the late 90s until The Hub arrived in October of 2010. If they would have found someone else who is not involved with Discovery at all, The Hub possibly would still be around. Discovery Family is nothing but a sister channel to the other networks who already air nature and science programs like American Heroes, Discovery Life, Investigation, Discovery, Destination America. Oh, 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 no surprise there. Yeah, look at this. TLC, Discovery Channel, Animal Planet, of course. Man, unbelievable. Now I am going to talk about their schedule. It's not bad, and some shows from the Hub are still on there. G.I. Joe, A Real American Hero, Jam and Holograms, Lewis Pet Shop, of course, is still on there. There's new episodes to see on Saturdays. My Little Pony Friendship is Magic, of course. I know there will be a season five. Usually the new season of MLP would have already started by now. I checked on Wikipedia, and I did not see anything about when the new season starts. So if anyone happens to know when the season five starts, please let me know. Pound Puppies is still around. The Transformers, Transformers Prime, Transformers Rescue Bots. Oh, Tiny Toons Adventures? Yes, sweet. Sabrina's Secrets of a Teenage Witch as well. As for the other shows, they're gone. Alf is gone. Animaniacs. Dan Versus. No, not Dan Versus. We need Dan, Chris, Elise, and her hotness back. Dan is somewhere in the television afterlife going... Curse you, Discovery Family! Dan versus Discovery Family. Be there. I would love to see that. Doogie Hauser MD is gone. They got rid of Family Game Night and Family Ties. Laverne and Shirley are gone. Happy Days, Mork and Mindy, the original Sabrina the Teenage Witch starring Melissa Joan Hart is gone. The Haunting Hour is gone. Uh, that Aquabats Super Show is gone. i never seen it, but that's gone as well. And Strawberry Shortcake. No, not Strawberry Shortcake. Oh, I'm going to be sick. Finally, 
I'm going to tell you the science and nature, etc. programs on the channel right now. Okay, so Discovery Family Guy shows like super pooches, survival of the weirdest, Africa, some British television series focusing on the wildlife and wild habitats in Africa, funniest pets and people. These shows I have never heard of. Now, Funniest Pets and People is a show with videos of pets and people from all ages. And it has a similar style of America's Funniest Home Videos. Oh, how original. And Rob Paulson was behind this show. The same man who did the voice of Pinky of Animaniacs. Narf! Oh, and Pinky in the Brain. He also did the voice of Yakko and Dr. Otto's Scratch and Sniff, also from Animaniacs. Not to mention voices Donatello and Raphael from the 1987 and current Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles series. Like I said, the schedule is not bad, but it would be nice if all the shows that were taken off will return to Discovery Family. That way, the channel will be even 10 times better. I think it would have been even better if the hub never turned into Discovery Family and just placed all the current science and nature programs on the channel right now. Moving them to Animal Planet, Discovery Channel, etc. Heck, they could have turned Discovery Channel into Discovery Family instead. I mean, how many nature and science channels must we have for crying out loud? I mean, it's great that the... The formal hub shows are still on the schedule, you know, based on the animation. But it's, it, Discovery Family, just like the new Boomerang, is lacking variety. Discovery Family, are you trying to be the new Boomerang 2.0? You need some more variety in your channel. Get with it. Come on now, step it up. Well, this has been my rant on Discovery Family. Rest in peace, The Hub. October 10, 2010 to October 13, 2014. Although this one featuring Twilight and Dan says October 12, 2014. I'm sure it's the 13th. It was obviously an accident. It, I don't know. Look at this rest in peace hub picture. You see at the bottom, that was the hub's formal quote. It could happen. Well, it did happen because it died. Oh, the hub. 2010 and 2014 this is not right let me hear your thoughts on the hub turning into discovery family what do you think about the current schedule do you think it needs more variety what were your thoughts and reaction when you heard the hub was turning into discovery family oh also in the link in the description box check out this video titled patrick hayes discovery family you guys remember that one spongebob episode and in this one scene, some TV, random TV, uh, fell out of the sky. And Squidward was watching something on TV where Patch was talking about he hates the channel. And then Squidward was like, no, 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 no. And then he grabs the remote from Patrick and he continues watching. Well, someone creatively <laughs> made the video based on that one SpongeBob scene. And it has Squidward watching Discovery Family. Patrick hates the channel, and then Squidward continues watching it towards the end. Man, you got to check it out. <laughs> it had me in stitches. I was rolling. It was just so creatively funny. Anyways, tell me your thoughts on uh, Discovery Family. Rest in peace, The Hub. Have a nice weekend. Later.